This is a Texas Blaster. I got it from the Texas Blaster website. It comes packaged uh, pretty neatly, um, lots of parts, but uh, pretty easy to assemble. The instructions are um, fairly easy to figure out. <coughs> Just needs lots of Teflon tape and lots of reading to figure out what to put where. The feet are pretty cool. Um, the instructions say they're sharp, and they definitely are sharp. You wouldn't want to like run this into your leg or something. Um, I'm using a 24 inch pipe wrench, probably a little bit overkill, but that's what I had around. <coughs> Wheels are pretty decent. The axle, you know, I wouldn't want to like pull this thing down the road with my truck, but it's pretty good. And um, and then you here you see that my um, my daughter's here helping me out, and uh, she wants to know how to read a tape measure. For, she wants to measure some random thing in the shop, so you know I got to stop and help her. And then first put, putting the leg back together. And then you'll see that, uh, well, you know, who needs to buy their kids toys when they have, like, the boxes that stuff comes in. So my daughter here is making fun of me. I didn't know she was making fun of me right here. And then I'm putting the uh, the valves together under the hose. And the hose seems to be pretty well built, um, pretty thick and heavy stuff. And um, and then my daughter's going to get something to drink. Comes with a uh, water separator, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect that. And here's my uh, air compressor. It is a 60-gallon air compressor with Wilton uh, water separator and filter and uh, then you'll see I'm having it runs through Wilton half inch couplings and a Harbor Freight half inch air hose here I'm using uh, coal slag from TSC and uh, works pretty good and this is my first time to ever sandblast and uh, after I got it stopped clogging because I bought the wrong stuff it works pretty good um, the machine comes with a helmet and uh, and it cracked and broke the first time I wore it after about five minutes, so it, that's a total piece of junk. But the sandblast seems to be pretty good. And here I am sandblasting a piece of ornamental metal, and uh, it worked great. Um, you know, not the most ergonomic place to do it, kneel it on some gravel. Um, but, you know, I learned, and here I finally said, hey, I need to wear a long sleeve shirt. And so I put on a welding shirt and just sandblasting away. And uh, this thing works great, and my compressor keeps up just fine with it. Um, you can hear the compressor running, and it was a very humid day, and the water separator was definitely working. Some of the things about this Texas blaster that they really promote is that it is made in the United States. So I decided to uh, do my best with a limited amount of time to figure out what it, on here is actually made in the United States. So the pressure gauge, made in China. The ball valves, four of them, are all are Pro Plus, which are made in China. The water separator is made in China. The uh, pipe fittings, I didn't look them up, but uh, I've never seen a U made in USA pipe fitting. Caster is pretty sure made in China, but didn't see any, any obvious things about where they were made. This hose right here has it that's made in the United States. These fittings here, there's no country of origin on it. The hose has no markings on it, and the nozzle there, um, no country of origin, so no idea. As far as the pressure vessel, um, I don't see any country of origin markings except for the big Made in USA sticker, so maybe it's Made in the USA, maybe it's not. But um, as far as the whole thing, the only thing that I could prove is actually Made in the United States is this hose right here. So. Um, you could say it's assembled in the United States because I assembled it and I am in Texas, so it is assembled in the U.S. As far as made in the U.S.A., um, that's pretty much open to interpretation.